So, on this fine day of Rainmaker Piranha Pit, we are out here playing one of the more forgotten weapons of Splatoon 2, the Tetradoys, plus Splatoon 3, which hasn't been recognized yet in Splatoon 2, obviously. Our squad rolling out into the abyss to see if they're able to fight off what is a much more normal team than ours. Our duelies, they run up to the Rainmaker, trying to cause problems on purpose. Can they pop the Rainmaker? That answer is yes. They're moving their way around to the right-hand side, seeing if they can stop teams, and it looks like there's another Tetradoulis over there that comes out on top. Helped by a Splattershot Pro, a weapon that arranges the entirety of our team. Will our team of Duelies plus a Nautilus be able to stop this? All the Tetra Duelies going down. They're fighting for their life out there. I throw a Sprinkler. Why does this weapon have a Sprinkler and not a bomb? The poor Tetra Duelies is a weapon that has a existence, I guess. But hey, I say, Auto Bomb trademark. It is time for the Auto Bomb frenzy. If our teammates soon obtain Auto Bombs of their own, we may be able to stop this Rainmaker Blitz. We hold off one, we hold off two, and it looks like it's a 3v2 out on the field. This is indeed documentary na uh, narration here, CC, as we are trying to see, see if the duelies can come out on top. With three duelies on the field again, it only means that we can go up from here. However, that bomb in a very dangerous location, we're wondering if we will be able to move past it. I decide to take my take matters into my own hands, moving the paint from behind, but it is one of the duelies greatest enemies, the ink armor. Having to waste an entire shot on the armor means that we can't move up as fast. And I begin to back up, scared, afraid of the inkjet, a special that nobody in our team has, because we have a baller, no Nautilus instead, but I have auto bombs. They don't have auto bombs, maybe, kinda, sorta. I don't think that team has any auto bombs. You better get out of there, and I'm gonna move towards you, wherever you may be. Who? Who? I didn't land enough shots. Ah, oh, the bomb got me. Our eSport commentating coming to an end as I finally die. It feels like I've been alive for quite a while here on this game, but I'm gonna get back into the fray as we go ahead and we throw yet another sprinkler to try and force the Rainmaker shield in our path. However, comma, it looks like they're gonna be able to pop that Rainmaker shield faster than us, and I'm just gonna have to be throwing my shots into the abyss. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. And unfortunately, our other friend was not able to stop the push. Will the Tetradoulis go back into obscurity, unable to win a match? That seems how it is so far, but we still have two and a half minutes on the clock. Can we be able to make our comeback to take what's rightfully ours? Recognition in Splatoon 3, after all, the Tetradoulis have yet to be seen in Splatoon 3. Maybe they're meant to go into the abyss with our friend Splatoon 3. Maybe that was the point of this game all along. On this battlefield, this splattlefield, dare I say. We'll try and give our teammates some room to work with, but I think they're running directly into a shot. We get the shot. The Rainmaker's able to make their run. Can they make it across? Uh-oh. Ninky says no. They cannot make that run. Too much time was spent over by the rail. Our teammates going down once again, sending the Tetradoui once again back into obscurity. Another sprinkler going out, trying to get that paint. You think with a weapon competition like this, we'd actually have pretty good paint. But alas, they have a junior and a splash of Maddox, so I guess it makes sense why our team is having so much difficulty getting paint down on the field. However, with the junior being the only guy left, if we can take out that Splattershot junior wherever they may be, we'll be able to go on in with an entire enemy team wipe. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Things are okay on this fine day. However, it is of course that diddly dang du uh, not dually, that diddly danged junior that we didn't kill that ends up taking out the duallys with a minute on the clock. The question is, can we finally have a push that makes the game change around for the better? Does the chat believe in the duallys? Can I hear a you can dually it from our squad? That's the question. Can we dually do it? There's one coming up the ramp over here, and we're going to have to hold them off as the Rainmaker tries to advance and get more points. But that's not how it should be in this game. The Rain They have enough points already. They have enough points, I cry out, as things get worse and worse for our team. More points being given to the green team, mayhaps. With three players up here in this corner, though, and a wipe coming out for the duelies, it may be time for these duelies to get the retribution that they, a.k.a. we, a.k.a. I, a.k.a. the streamer, a.k.a. Victoria Beyond, deserve. We're out here putting the paint down. Holding off, oh, and I died to a bomb in the worst timing possible. 15 seconds on the clock, I would dare say. If Nato goes down, it may be difficult for us to be able to save this. We'll have to be able to grab the Rainmaker. As right now, we will not be getting any overtime. If that Rainmaker runs away into the side, we won't be able to stop them, and the game may actually be over. <sighs> Sadly, we could not do Liet on this fair Sunday. GG's, the Tetris say disappearing finally into the mist, never to be seen again, knowing that maybe, just maybe, they will not be able to join Splatoon 3.
Guys, in today's game of Splatoon 2 for the Nintendo Switch, we are here to find out if Kensa, in general, Kensa weapons at all, will survive into Splatoon 3 for the Nintendo Switch. This game is for all of the marbles. Oh god. <laughs> and we are fighting against a bunch of weapons that probably will be in Splatoon 2. Will they be able to survive? Nobody knows. And the first player to go down is one of our own. So we must begin to make our aggression to save Kensa. Hashtag save Kensa. Kensa can't go down. Everybody loves Kensa. We cannot lose this. It's for the people. We have been put in some very dangerous conditions here, but with these ballers being stacked up, a special that obviously is not being brought into Splatoon 3, and one of the chargers gets a double direct, destroying all hope maybe of Kenzo getting into Splatoon 3, but we cannot give up hope yet. We still have four minutes and 10 seconds left to save this, and with our teammates being able to get the map back, we still have things in our side. The biggest threat to us, of course, is gonna be that one the biggest threat to us is gonna, is gonna be the Charger, it seems, who has killed me twice. But the biggest threat might be, of course, that Junior, which is gonna have a lot of paint. And of course, Ink Armor, which... Ink Armor is one of the biggest threats of all. So Blasters, oh god, and here comes the Junior! <laughs> the Junior taking us out and going right back to the middle of the zone, looking for their next target. It's gonna be I'm back, hiding in the back, where they belong, concerned about their future. Poor I'm back. Will they be able to escape with their I am life? What even do I have? Oh, I have torpedoes? Okay, that actually works pretty pretty okay. I see that junior over there causing problems on purpose. Ah, my bones! My little squishy inkling bones! Hashtag save Kensa is being screamed by the chat. But will we be able to scream to save Kensa? I just don't know. Who would have guessed that guns are able to stop blasters? Most people probably could guess that, honestly. Alright, we'll throw torpedoes in. And we'll pray for our sanity. The Junior out there alone fighting against many a blaster. We can't allow them to stay any longer. Oh, that's a Squiffer. It's also not a Junior. We're gonna run him down. Yeah. Now, where is the Junior, though? The Junior could walk in from any angle and cause so many problems on purpose. We take a two out. But however, it's still not the Junior. The Junior's still lurking out there, causing problems, being scary. Our, our Kensa team, though, feeling kind of strong. We have to save Kensa. We have to save Kensa. We've gotta. Ooh. I was very scared of that shot there. The one bomb coming out telling us that the Junior is possibly close. However, comma, this is the only weapon with a splat bomb in our hands that also belongs to the one, the only, the Chargers! Uh-oh, with the zone almost turning back to green. We were worried for a second there, but it seems like the Kensa Rapid Blasters might finally have the rapid upper hand. I give a handshake, a high five to our one blaster, and then go back, because as soon as I stopped to celebrate our victory, it became apparent, it became clear, that maybe not everything was in the bag as well as we thought. It still is a scary match, they do have more paint and more range than us, but what we have is the ability to fire a lot of blaster shots all at one place and see that Junior go down. Haha, <laughs> go back to your own watery grave, Junior. We are you belong. Hashtag save Kensa continues to be echoed in our chat. Kensa cannot be lost. Imagine a game without Kensa. What would they do? Bring back Sheldon's picks? The Berry Splatter Shot Pro? I wouldn't be that against us. Maybe it's, maybe it's not too late to throw. Maybe it's not too late to throw. Oh, it is. It is too late to throw. And as such, we have officially saved Kensa. So there you have it, folks. The Tetra Duelies will not be in Splatoon 3. But the Kensa Rapid Blaster will be in Splatoon 3. That's what these games have showed us today. You're welcome, Vic out. Thank you.